Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our crank position sensor. This is going to be easiest from underneath the passenger side front of the vehicle. If we come right up in between this area here, we're going to have access to it right along the passenger side of the crank itself. Moving the wiring for this. Right along the bottom aspect of this sensor, you're going to be able to find a little metal tab that you want to just carefully press up on. That's what's going to unlock it. And then generally I just use a small bar and I'm going to try to remove the wiring. Every time you remove an electrical connector, you want to inspect it. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. And now we can continue on by removing our mounting bolts. Now that we have the wiring off, let's continue to our two mounting bolts. For these, I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket. I'm going to get this one so it's nice and loose down here. We'll leave the bolt in a little bit and then we'll continue on to the top one. All right. There's that bolt. Now I'll fully take out the lower one as well. Now I can grab that sensor and remove it from the vehicle. There it is, friends. All right, now it's time to install our brand new crank position sensor. Now when we do this, we want to have this aiming generally in this position. That way there, the sensing agent is going to be facing towards the crank. I've got both my bolts in my hand. I'll get it in position. We're going to start in both of these bolts. Once they're both started, we'll snug them up and then we'll torque them to 89 inch pounds. Now that I have them both bottomed out, let's go ahead and torque each of these to 89 inch pounds. And now we'll just do the same to the other one. Once both those bolts are tight, let's go ahead and start reconnecting this. When we reconnect it, we're going to put it in place, but then you need to squeeze this metallic tab once again to be able to slide it in and lock it. So it's lined up. I'm going to press my tab, slide it in all the way, and then I'm going to give it a nice tug. You want to make sure that this is nice and tight so it doesn't have a loose connection, in which case you'll find that you have a running condition in the end. All right, so now that we have everything back together and we made sure that we plugged it in so it's nice and secure, the last thing that you want to do is just go ahead and hop inside the passenger compartment. You're going to start up the truck and just look at the dash. Make sure you don't have a check engine light. After that, take it for a road test. Thanks. 